activity divided into two different uh, er eruptions in an explosive activity and then so we are at 2,500 meters. Um, up there, the yellow point, that is the top of Mount Etna. Uh, it's changed colour since last night. Uh, the guide was telling us it was red. Um, they can tell the activity levels by the colour of the point. Um, so it's yellow just now. Uh, so I'm guessing it's relatively safe to hike up. Uh, you can see some activity there. Um, some smoke behind the main point. Also some snow. It's actually water vapour and you can feel heat. It's like a oven, like 150 degrees or something. You can f feel the water vapour coming right through, it's really warm. It's pretty cool. Good way to heat my hands, they're absolutely freezing in this wind. Now all this rock here, this is recent, it's 2022, 20, uh, we're heading up and there's actually more rock that's from as recent as a few months ago, August 2023, so that's nerve wracking, just shows how active it really is.
precarious with this uh, mud soil so it's important to bring the right uh, shoes, walking shoes or boots it's quite slippy but look at that, that's just surreal I never expected the hike to be this great but it's surpassed what, what I expected Finally at the bottom, let's check the shoes. Crazy. The volcano is starting to <laughs> Take it home for our souvenir. Now, I'm not sure what's worse. The volcano getting off and getting melted alive. I'm getting choked to death for this bloody helmet. I think it's kid size. Or I've just got a big head. I think it's the latter. But that's a really nice hike. I'm underestimated, underestimated it to be honest. I thought because it's like a guided hike, we're more touristy, but it was a, a nice surprise. Yeah, quite precarious at some points as well.